Hello everyone, I'm going to be showing you and telling you a little bit about the world of mods for Xbox 360. Demonstrating with none other than Oblivion of course, not just because it's my favourite game and it's what my channel revolves. Let me just get to explaining everything. About five years ago when I was back on the Xbox 360 I came across this software called Modio which was a Xbox 360 save conversion and transfer tool. Basically you could convert PC saves, other people's up, up, uploading their Xbox saves, for example like 100% completion uploading it to this service, or a PC modded or hack save that they converted to Xbox format and uploaded for you to use. Now what I'm showing you today is modded saves from this software um, I downloaded them in 2014, they could have been from like 2009 or whenever, I don't know. Um, unfortunately, the Modio service has shut down, or the online service anyway, so all those uh, uploaded saves are, are lost. Um, I have a few of them still back on my Xbox, I'm going to be sh showing you through them a few today. So, oh, let's dig out the games we need and see the mods in action on my Xbox. This is my copy of Oblivion that I've had since 2008. Boom! I've not booted the Xbox version of Oblivion up since 2015, so it's gonna be weird. And we're also gonna be using New Vegas. Only two Bethesda games since that's most malleable in terms of what you can do with modded or, you know, hack, whatever content. Blah. Enjoy the exceptionally long loading times an 11 year old Xbox 360 has. Yep, yeah, 11 years old. No way to go, I've had two red rings actually, but it recovered from them. So yeah. Okay, goodbye Tekken Tattoo. Please go over here. Oblivion. This is going to be so fucking weird to boot this up. Oh my god, it's been years since I've done this. I was 15 last time. Oh my god. Public gaming wasn't even a thing. Oh my god. Should we, should we dare click continue? Sorry, I have to. Oh my god, can you read after the game? Oh my god. Oh shit. Well. Uh. I knew I should have clicked the little icon. This is. This is. Well, it immediately crashed. That was a severely cut down version of me suffering, trying to <laughs> get the game to load up and everything, and having a bit of a nostalgic look through my old saves. But now, we're into the absolute best modded save that there ever was for Oblivion, and my ugly ass character. Oh, okay, this is going to be awkward to do with one hand, bear with me. Basically, I'm in a modded version of the Imperial City House. We've got portals too. Oh god, I don't know what I'm doing. Like, all the other houses, you know, like my Leowin house and Arbor Watch and blah de blah. So this is my Imperial City House. Yes, a crazy ass alien ruiny place. Just wanted to show you that, you know, I'm being serious and not calling bullshit when... I'm not bullshitting you when I say there was mods available on Xbox. And you know, just well, he's made a whole new weapon. You know, I mean, yeah, he uses vanilla mesh. Obviously, that's how it works, but it's still a whole new weapon idea. I don't know. I, I theorise it's probably p enchanted weapon, and somehow I don't know. But how do you edit the Imperial City House without some sort of plug-in or something to make it this LED ruin place? It's so weird, crazy. I don't want to show too much of it off, but this is just proof that I'm on Xbox. And this is the Imperial City House, even though it's not. And I also have the unused lock spell, so I can make locks. Yeah, it's a very brief overview to prove it works and that it boots up. Um, the New Vegas mod, um, I won't be showing on PC, because I haven't converted the saves over and blah blah blah. I've not look, really looked into how, if I even can, I presume you can. But I'll be showing that in more detail in this part. And the next part will explore the contents of the Xbox mods on PC in way more detail. And of course, because it's on PC as well, it won't be shitty camera recordings, it'll be, you know, 
cool. So, yeah, let's skip to New Vegas. I think I should load up this one. We should load up that one. I'll load up this one for now. That one is hopefully in a good place to show you daggy stuff. This is a indeed a modded save. Not the one I thought it was, but it is a different one nonetheless. This is, again, obviously on Xbox. There is a female doing push ups uh, who is called, rather disturbingly, Hardcore Needs. Now, that's obviously named after the difficulty, but uh, I don't know about you. Can I get them sexual connotations from that as well? There's a, a mi mini alien, which I killed. That's nice. These things have like. Oh god, so my controller is so broken. It's got like, you know. Just basically, it's like a, a homemade test room, whatever. Uh, yeah, you know, and eggs, all that shit. It's the mysterious stranger. Let's pass him. This isn't the right save. That's a little hacky save though, with a little mod hideout, whatever. The one we want is underneath Epic Battles. It lives up to its name, um, don't worry. We're booting, we've booted in. I have two Rexes, so that's obviously not normal. And I have an arcade cannon. Hello, arcade cannon. I have Benny's gun. A shitload of. Yeah, uh. Isn't arcade cannon wearing the, the Vault 101 outfit, I believe? Yeah, he's wearing that. Is he wearing the armored Vault 101 jumpsuit or the armored Vault 21? Arcade cannon. Fuck. Fuck. Fuckity, fuckity, stop. There's some serious shit going on. Will you? Fuck, I said. Yeah, look. Okay, going to turn the Vault 101 outfit. Wahoo to that. That was really fucking cool to have on Xbox. Um, yeah. Here we go. Like, uh, I can click drop on Benny. And a, a blind death claw. I'm not sure that'll actually be hostile. Um, can drop it in. Brotherhood Scout. One of them. And well, it's... Mm. oh, she's unused, isn't she? She's that uh, wild encounter woman, that hostile creep. Oh, I do love some cats. Let's have cats. Uh, Chief Hanlon, because why not? And someone properly hostile and just uh, oh yeah a death claw alpha ooh this should be fun and again this is on Xbox I'm doing this hey come on oh this is beautiful oh and I failed the quest don't know where Benny went oh they killed it. Hello, Chief Hanlon. Oh, Rex isn't happy. Oh, the Brotherhood guy's hostile, that's interesting. And no one's helping me. The other arcade die? Oh no, Benny died. Oh, of course he did. What is wrong with you, you strange man? Hello, Cassie Carver, why is your woman pin nowhere near you? What do you need? I need you to no longer be unused. Later. That wasn't part of the deal. Oh. And of course, this is glitching because apparently Death Squad Alphas aren't in this game, so it's nabbing textures off everything around it. But I am going to spawn in a Super Mutant Behemoth, which is going to be interesting, as you can see here. Sergeant RL3, New Vegas, we can spawn him in. He won't have the right voice though. Here we go, Super Mutant Behemoth. Let's drop in two of them. Hopefully the game won't crash. Two. Ah, I've got to make sure we'll also drop in. Talon, Talon Company Guard Dogs, because we can. Uh, let's have three of them. Let's just tap out now. Oh, God. Sergeant R3 is destroyed. Oh, God. What the hell? Is that our kid cannon? Jesus. Teach you to mess with me. Well. They got dealt with by Cassie Clara. And now, Chris, what's going on? Is that Bulldog guy still shooting at me? He is. He has issues. Well, that's fun. 
Isn't it arcade? Isn't it? Isn't it? Isn't it? Yeah. So that was a preview of sorts. Sorry it can't be any better. I don't have a capture card from a 360 and my control pad is uh, quite fucked as you can see. Permanent flashing, damaged joystick there, broken bottom and it's the wiring cuts out all the time and it's, it's just a nightmare. It's lucky I can even film Xbox, it's practically falling apart. Like my life. Nah, it's all like my life. And I've shown Cakes briefly, um, Oblivion, and in a bit more detail, just some of the stuff that you could do with it. Um, new characters, um, droppable NPCs, like unlimited items and stats and stuff. So it's kind of pushing the boundaries of what you'd expect to be available on the 360. Um, but yeah, if this has interested you, um, not necessarily something for you to do yourself, because it's not viable nowadays because Modio's gone obviously. Um, but if you'd like to just learn more about it, and, um, then tune in next time, whenever I decide to upload the second part, and I will show you in depth really what you can achieve with console mods. Uh, some crazy shit was done with that Project Des Desolo Oblivion mod save. Like, crazy shit. Stuff I've never even seen on PC. So I'll say that. Um, but this has been Public Gamer with the video and he's now signing off because said video is done so goodbye and thank you for watching so there's the normal town over there the 4k from and this guy very well crafted a whole new area for Hawkhaven filled with all these new rooms to explore and you might be wondering this can't be on Xbox. Bullshit. Fuck off. You're a liar. But, no. I'm not lying.